Hey, this is Jet for Junior Sports Channel. We're here at Goose Creek Golf Club in the city of Mira Loma, California for the Lorena Ochoa Golf Academy free seminar with Ted Gleason as he talks about the road to college golf. We're here today to promote the missions of the foundations with their health and education, which we do through golf. Uh, so what better way to do it than have a Road to College Golf seminar where we had uh, Ted Gleason from Road to College Golf talk about uh, what it takes as a junior golfer to let golf lead you to college. Road to College Golf is a, a business I started nine and a half years ago where I assist and counsel high school age junior golfers and their families navigate junior golf and understand the college process. So I was fortunate enough, I had a background as a college coach for seven years and I played college golf. So I've kind of taken those skills and traits to assist families as they try to help their son or daughter find a place to play college golf. What do you think is the most important or fun aspect of playing on a college golf team? So if you're on a college golf team, what's the most fun aspect? It's traveling, right? It's playing, you get to play. So what happens in this process is a lot of kids get focused on other things instead of finding a place where they can play. There's 10 players on a team, let's say, roughly. Five travel. So I always said there's five happy ones and five unhappy ones. If you can take one thing from this whole presentation, and hopefully you'll take more than one thing, there's a lot of different levels to play college golf. Some schools you have to shoot 72 or 69 or 68 to play there or to get a scholarship, but there are schools where you could shoot in the 70s, 80s. So what would be your number one advice to juniors and families? Certainly there's opportunity to play junior golf and to college golf and maybe even someday professional golf, but most importantly they got to have fun first. And then the junior golfer has to realize they've got to be a student as well. Right? There's a student and athlete aspect to this whole journey. So I want to make sure that they're taking care of their academic responsibility as they continue this journey on and try to play college golf potentially. When I'm a coach and I'm recruiting, I am waiting for them to have adversity. Not because I like to see people struggle, but because I want to know how do they handle themselves when adversity comes. Because I know it's going to happen when they come to school. There's, there's going to be times when they just, golf, that's golf, it's full of adversity. So I want to know how can they handle that? What's their body language like? How do they treat their teammates? How do they try to finish out the round? Uh, it was very informative, uh, an eye-opener for a lot of things. Um, definitely uh, something to put into practice. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really learned a lot of new stuff and it was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was really informative. and. Uh, it taught me how to set new goals for myself and uh, look into more schools and kind of help my progression with golf. As a parent, what was the best thing that you got from that? That uh, Susie has uh, a lot of options and that she can pick wherever she wants to go that's going to make her happy. It doesn't have to be in a Division One school or a Division Two school or Division Three or NCI. It could be NAIA. It could be a junior college. So it's wherever. Uh, she's going to be happy and even if she doesn't have golf is she still going to be happy at that school and I thought that was a very important uh, point that Ted uh, spoke on. Today we're here at the Lorraine Ochoa Golf Academy which is owned and operated by the Lorraine Ochoa Golf Foundation and what we do with the academy is you know people that come and take golf lessons here uh, all the profits generated from that go to uh, funding our foundation programs uh, and today we're having a free education program we brought in Ted Gleason uh, who is from Road to College Golf is a former head golf coach at USC and uh, Southern Methodist University and he talked about the process that uh, parents and junior golfers need to go through to be found by a college and uh, potentially earn a college scholarship or play golf in college and it was uh, it was a great program today and we uh, all the parents and uh, the juniors and myself we learned a lot of great information I want to plant the seed and say college golf is possible for all of you. And here's a road map for you to kind of follow and sink your teeth into a little bit and see if you can't realize that. Dream. The seminars are just about finished here in Goose Creek Golf Club and what we learned today was amazing and hopefully we can all gain from it. If you want more information, please visit the Road to College Golf's website. This is Jet Lagashram for Junior Sports Channel.